is going crazy, my friends. We got another post from Capital Games. I just gotta say, I love this. This happens all the time where CG's like super quiet, super quiet, and then all of a sudden just post, post, post. So many posts all at once. We got the state of the galaxy. Overall, there's really not much in here, but I think this post confirmed that General Leia Organa is coming to the game. So that to me is something to be super excited about. So if anything, take that out of it. But really, honestly, it's kind of a lame state of the galaxy. Not going to lie. There's just really not much in this. So, but let, let's get to it and then I'll talk about why I think it confirms uh, General Leia. So the year is 2020, another exciting year of Galaxy Heroes planned for you. Uh, we're, we're back from the holidays and want to it's, it is january 21st we're back from the holidays a month after christmas uh sorry life day or sorry whatever does anything happen at the end of december i don't know we don't celebrate that here um i want to briefly discuss galactic legends some additional content in the next two months and address some persistent tech problems they're basically just going to confirm here about the galactic legends that they're going to be seven star unlocks and there's like no more information that comes that I remember after skimming through this. So uh, shortly after the release of Rise of Skywalker, we unveiled a new type of character, the Galactic Legend. We know you've been asking when, where, how, and what we're going to or we're going to start pulling back the curtain, or and when, or whatever. I, I when, where, what, and how. So we're going to start pulling back the curtain. They're going to pull it back real far, guys. We're going to get a full look. Galactic Legends will both be a new type of character and a new type of event, which we kind of knew, uh, with a very different structure than our previous um, um, entries. Over the next two months, we will be gradually revealing units required to activate the event. So I think the, the biggest thing that's different here to contrast is that they're telling us that these characters are needed as time goes, I think is what they're saying, which... I mean, we've pretty much always had that happen. We just were reading the stars rather than them explicitly telling us. So I think that's the difference. Um, let's see. Uh, in March, the last batch of requirements will be revealed. Okay, so they're giving us a timetable. And later that month, uh, the events will become playable. So it'll be in March. So confirmed Galactic Legends in March. One more thing to mention is that they will be seven-star unlocks. That's all they tell us. We will be really more about the event itself and the new Ray and Kylo units. Just tell us the names at the end of the month. So stay tuned for more information. So probably the end of this month, uh, we'll probably get the names is what I'm guessing based on that. And then upcoming releases. Uh, this is where I think we're confirming uh, Leia Organa. Uh, General Leia, rather. Uh, so we will continue our Rise of Skywalker content with the introduction of Resistance Hero, uh, Resistance Hero Finn? Poe? Finn Poe? <laughs> Anyone who saw my last video, for some reason in my mind, I kept calling Poe Finn and Finn Poe. I, I think it's, just, it's confirmation, guys. It's confirmation that they have a bromance. A really strong bromance. I'm not going to lie. So, all right, let's check this out. So, uh, Poe will synergize with inspired allies and introduce a new debuff vulnerable. We know that. And then this is where it gets good. In February, we're going to introduce two new capital ships. That's pretty big news from the new trilogy, the Radis and the finalizer i had to look up what both i thought i knew what the finalizer was and i was right the radis i wasn't sure of this is the radis right here it's a mon calamari ship and it is the flagship of the resistance of Le general leia organa it's her ship guys and so if this ship is coming to the game who's gonna be the pilot I can't think of who would who would be there, who or who would be the uh, capital ship commander. It's I think it's pretty confidently going to be General Leia Organa. There's a lot more you can read about this ship that's kind of interesting, uh, but whatever the whatever the case is, General Leia Organa to me is more or less confirmed. Uh, the finalizer, if you, if you need to know what the finalizer is. That's this ship right here. It was the ship of Hux. And so I think this this confirms that Hux is going to be a uh, capital ship. Uh, pilot, let's see. Uh, finalizer was built by the First Order. Uh, where does it say? It said, it mentioned, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, it was the, it served as a flagship of, uh, General Hux and Kylo Ren. And so potentially Kylo Ren, uh, will be the, the commander as well. And so Kylo Ren and General Leia Organa, um, probably going to be fleet commanders, and then uh, General Hux especially, I think, is probably going to be. So uh, General Leia Organa, probably inbound. 
That's exciting. This is one of my characters. I've said, I, I think we've put her, Arnold and I, when we make our characters we want for the year videos at the beginning of each year, I think we've put her on there a couple times now. And so I'd love to have her, and, and I'd love them to pay, really just pay respect and homage to, uh, to Carrie Fisher. Uh, the late Carrie Fisher, who's just, you know, an absolute legend in the Star Wars universe. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. Out of everything in this uh, State of the Galaxy, which to me, after so much of nothing from Capital Games, overall, I think this post is kind of lame. I think we're ready for a lot more tease than two Capital ships and a character we already knew was coming. And then... Basically, they told us that we're going to find... We know that it's a 7-star unlock for Galactic Legends. Like, that's that's the juicy information we got from this. Like, give us, give us a little more. Like, t t tell us what you're working on. Tell us something, anything, you know? To give us an idea of what content is coming. Are you working on a new raid? Is that... When is that going to come? Is that... In the horizon for the first half? Of the, I don't know. They probably can't talk about it because of fiscal quarters and that kind of thing, but... I don't know, I just, for a state of the galaxy, I just thought we would see a lot more. There is more in here. That, that's just the juicy reveals. First of all, we got this sexy image of Poe with his binoculars. I mean, look at this. And I, now I, I did have somebody in the comments um, identify yourself below. Um, I, I forgot who it was right at this point. But uh, I, they coined the name Indiana Poe. I think we need to call Poe Indiana Poe. I think that needs to be a thing, all right? Indiana Poe. <laughs> if only we, we just Photoshop a hat. Somebody Photoshop a hat on him and post it on Reddit. You'll get lots of upvotes. All right. So we also have some bugs here uh, that they're going to address. Uh, this is, you know, a take it or leave it. Um, we have uh, some outstanding issues we wanted to highlight. First, some players slash guilds are not getting Wat Tambor or Ki Mundi shards when completing special missions in the Republic Offensive or Separatist Might. We believe we identified the issue and have released a fix two weeks ago. We're monitoring to make sure it solves the issue. As we learned with Malik last year, um, first time is not always the final time. <laughs> um, so uh, we're, our apologies uh, that this issue has taken so long to identify and remedy. All right, well, all right, you're forgiven by me. It didn't really affect me. Um, second, we have another bug. Another bug in the Republic Offensive Territory battle that will persist through the next instance. Most notably, Anakin Starfighter will still be in the platoons which, or when it was also required in the special mission for this phase. That's a big bug. This issue will be corrected for the next instance of the event, fixing the bug when it goes live and causes the bug to persist. Finally, we have a few small description bugs that will be fixed in the next release. Reek description and uh, Kalani's abilities, etc. And that's it! That's all the state of the galaxy was. Man. Now, they just got back from their holiday. So, why the holiday needed to last a full month, I don't... I, I mean, I, it's not my place to judge, but... To have that during the release of a movie for Star Wars just feels like a lot of missed opportunity to me to to do that little at least have it ready to go I don't know I just I don't know how the business runs but to me I'm like this is a moment to capitalize look at what Battlefront did you know I'm sure they took a holiday right but they still pushed out a lot of content we got like nothing we're pushing out our premiere Rise of Skywalker content in March but anyway I digress. I'm trying to be positive about this game, but that just kind of irks me because I just feel like that we, we there should have been so much more around these movies that we just didn't get. Um, so he does say that's it for this State of the Galaxy. We are planning on having another State of the Galaxy next month, followed by a road ahead in March. OK, so that road, ahead, I'm guessing that all we're going to have between now and March is just these new characters. I'm guessing that's it. That seems to be all that they got planned between now and March. And then the March road ahead is probably where we're going to get a tease for a new game mode, a new raid or something. I'm really hoping something like, I, I would love a new raid, especially. I think that the highest point in this game was the last raid that we got, the Sith raid. I mean, the metrics on the revenue for the game when that raid hit were pretty, pretty crazy. Um, our planning for this year is already shaping up to be pretty ambitious. We'll talk about it more in the upcoming State of the Galaxy and road ahead. See you on the Hall Tables top app. Prove it to us, Top Hat. Prove it to us that you have ambitious plans. Right now, 
It just doesn't feel like the the, the plans are that ambitious because our State of the Galaxy, our first post of the year, told us a lot of stuff we already knew, revealed two capital ships, and that the unlocks are going to be seven stars, for which kind of seemed like the only logical direction to take it to me. So I hope you're right. I hope you're right, and I would love to be proven uh, in that regard. So let me know what you guys think about this State of the Galaxy down in the comments below. Overall, I think the community needs more than this, uh, but it's, you know, it's fun to see. It's fun to see. I'm really excited about the potential of General Leia Organa coming to the game especially. So, uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. Third video of the day. I didn't know the day was going to be that busy, but hey, you know what? Sometimes CG just throws a bunch of posts at you and we got to talk about them all. So, hit me up down in the comments. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. Punch up first! <laughs>